Hi everyone, welcome you all. In this video, we will see one of the object oriented programming feature that is polymorphism in JavaScript. So let us see what is polymorphism. So poly means many, morph means forms. So overall the polymorphism is nothing but many forms. So polymorphism is the ability to create a variable or a function or an object that has more than one form. So that is called as a polymorphism. Now we'll see practically how we can achieve this polymorphism in JavaScript. Let me just go to Visual Studio Code Editor and here I'm creating one JavaScript file. I'll give name is as uh, polymorphism. Polymorphism demo.js. Right, so now I have just created one JavaScript file. So inside this, uh, I will just create uh, one class let me just create it can be class or function variable whatever we can do polymorphism so one thing is having multiple forms so class i'm i'm just creating one class called as a shape and this class I'll, in this class i'm just creating one function called draw or method inside this method i'm just returning some value let's say return return i am i am generic shape am generic shape i'm just returning some value and after that i'm just creating one more class and uh, i'll name it as square and this class extends from shape class so once you extends the from shape class and the square for class also having the same method but now i'm just recreating this method once again and this draw method is belongs to square and here i'm writing i am I am square right and similarly I'll create one more class let us say circle circle extends circle extends shape again this is also extending from shape class now in this again I'm recreating the same method and here I'm saying I am circle so if you just notice here the first class contains this method called draw and the second class extended from the shape class which is also having the same method but the body of the method is different that means implementation is different and this is another form of draw method and also have created one more class called circle which is also extended from shape class and in which also have created draw method so i have created draw method in three different classes and uh, three different forms so some, same method is having three different forms now, when I create an object for circle class through that object, I can access draw method. Similarly, when I create an object for square class, I can access draw, and which is from square class. And when I create an object for shape through that object, I can access a draw method from the shape class. Now we'll test them. So here I'm just creating one variable called let s equal to new shape. So this is the first class I created. Now this is an object I created now. Through this s, I can access a method. Let me just write it properly. Right, so s dot, right, s dot, I'm just calling draw. So this is the method I called. So when I call this method, so the object variable we created for the shape class. So which will call the method draw from the shape class, so which is returning some value. So we should also print that value. So here I'll say console dot log of s dot draw. Right, so now let's execute, go and run this code. And now we can see this is a message we got. Let me just clear that output and run once again. Now we got the I am generic shape. So this is a message we got it from the method which is called from shape. Now I'll create another object. So s equal to same variable I'm using new square. New square. Now I'm creating an object for square class. Now currently we see the square class is also having draw method and square is extended from shape. Square is extended from shape. So square also having the same method. So when I call this method, let's say s dot draw. Now which method will be called? So this will call the method from the square class because even though this is extended from the parent class shape, which is having a new implementation, the other form of the draw method. So the new form will be called. So similarly, when I create an object for circle class, new circle, new circle, and here I'm just calling s dot draw. 
so this time which will call the method from the circle class now let me print them the output console dot log is a dot draw and here i'll say console dot log is a dot draw fine so now i have created three different objects and i'm calling the method in in different forms so the same method we have created in three different classes in different forms now this is basically feature of polymorphism poly means uh, poly means multiple forms so multiple many and forms so polymorphism means many forms so one class or one variable or one variable or one function or one object is having more than one form so that is called as a polymorphism so here we have a method created in one class and the same method created in another class with a different form the same method again created in another class with a different form so one method is having three different forms now i am calling those methods by using an object now let us execute so now we got the so here we got some error so there is spelling mistake here i'll say circle save it and now execute clear the output and execute so now this is output we are getting from this statement the first class and i am square and i am circle so this is how we can just create a method or an object or a function in different forms so that is a basically feature of polymorphism and even this is also called as method overriding so because we override the same method in multiple classes and we can achieve this polymorphism through this feature right so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching